been creating. You guys are the ones that are making some stuff. Let's check out some of the categories that have been going on here for the Big Bananas in Pajamas Party. Come with me. Check that stuff out. Now, right up here, we have the biggest bananas category. And that's pretty self-explanatory, guys. Look how big this stuff is. It is huge. So, I mean, this banana here is almost as big as me. It's pretty funny. Okay, now, if you look down here, we've got the stuff bananas and you guys really put a lot of work into these ones these are all the ones that have been stuffed with all kinds of soft stuff i don't know if you guys got some foam and some down in there or something but they're really cool now if you look down here we have the felt fabric and foam category now our judges have been a tough time checking these one out you can see how they've all been stitched together with all sorts of different stuff all right let's go back up here to the molding materials now these ones are very interesting because these ones here are full of femo some of them made out of putty some of them made out of play-doh you see you got to be careful with these ones because you want to bend them out of shape <laughs> a little bit of fun guys now down here we've got the puppets now these ones are all the ones that can be hand operated and uh, you can see some of them you can put your hand inside of others you use a popsicle stick and you can actually operate them that way now over here we've got debbie and kyle they've been doing some serious judging now you know what debbie i mean you're a you're an expert when it comes to these toys and stuff are some of these ready for the production line right now what do you think well, some of them are pretty close yeah they're very good there you go kyle is this the toughest job you've ever had being a judge you know what I think? I think I wouldn't want your job. It is tough stuff, everybody. But Debbie and Kyle, they are doing their darndest to get these bananas judged. So, while they're judging all of this stuff, you guys get ready for a little bit of fun with Eddie and Freddie on the party. Paper, but they kind of 
you know, made, made fun things out of it. This guy actually stands up if you put him on a table. And this guy is something that I'm sure you've seen Neil do on Art Attack. He hangs up and he's three-dimensional. A lot of fun. Now, uh, Nancy, you work for a toy store. Now, do you think any of these would have been sold in your store? Mm, I think some of them could be, yes. Now, Alfredo actually sells produce at a grocery store. What do you think of these bananas? Well, some of them look good enough to eat. <laughs> good. Well put. I like that. Now, aside from all these, as we've said, we have 1,700 entries. So we've displayed them all, all over the place. So let's go take a look over here. Excuse me. And we can see... Oh, Joe, it's the bananas. Get over here. Hurry. Bananas? Yeah, look. Hi. Hi. Uh, why are they running off? I'm not too sure. I Man, it's kind of odd seeing the bananas run away like that. Something's up. They're up to going something. on. I think so. Oh, well. Well, listen. Enjoy this quick art attack. Snooker. Man, oh, man. Here's a shot that you guys <laughs> probably don't see every day. No way. Look at that. That is the hallway leading into the crawl space. And as you can see, the judges are still hard at work. We have so many bananas lining the walls. You can even look up onto these walls in the entire crawl space. This, this was a lot of work. We, we had some help from, from Michiko and Sai, two people who work here at TVO. And look at all the ones they put up on the wall. It's a, it's a banana a go-go. It is nuts. We have been getting these bananas from not just all over the province. No, 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 no. We got bananas from as far away as New Brunswick. Some from the United States of America, like in Michigan and New York State. That's right. We got some from Quebec province. I'm telling you, it has been a lot of fun. The grand total of how many bananas that we got is pushing 1,700. And the biggest category was actually uh, ones made out of paper, but they weren't drawings. They were, they were special paper construction works, and the toilet paper rolls was also a huge category, over 200 in that one. You know why? Why? Because everybody's got toilet paper lying around. Well, that's true. There's always, and rolls. Yeah, empty and it, rolls. It's just a, a natural that the, the rolls will come when the paper is finished. And the hardest part was actually making the decision in finalizing, picking the finalists. It took three days for the judges to narrow down 1,700 to the finalists you saw here today. We sat them upstairs on the fourth floor. We locked them in a room. We said, all right, guys, you guys get to leave when this is done. And I'm telling you, they came through. We've got the finalists today. All right, now let's take a look at a few more of these bananas. And hey, you know, B1 and B2, we know they're here, but I don't know what they're doing, Joe. We're going to have to find out soon. Sooner or later, I'm sure the bananas always end up giving us the goods on exactly what they're up to. Exactly. And you know what? They're what? up to some fun coming up next on this next episode of Bananas in Pajamas. That's true. Since it is the Bananas in Pajamas party, extra special shows today, including an extra Bananas in Pajamas. Painting the bench on the beach. <laughs> Bananas in pajamas are coming down the stairs. Bananas in pajamas are coming down in pairs. Bananas in pajamas are chasing teddy bears. Cause I do say they all try to catch them on the way. The bananas in pajamas were painting a new bench at the beach. It had been pink, but the bananas liked things to be yellow. Oh, you missed a bit, B1. So I did, B2. There. All finished. Oh, you missed a bit, B2. Oh, so I did, B1. There. How's that, B1? The teddies were just getting ready to go jogging. So, we go three times around the park, over to the beach, then back here, and no stopping. Ready? Go! Hey! Wait for us, Lulu! Morgan! Oh, coming. Come on! <laughs> Painting the bench had been hard work, but now it was finished. Perfect. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's rest time. Uh-oh. We were nearly silly bananas, B1. Very, very 
silly bananas be too. The bananas knew they couldn't sit on the wet paint, so they went off to wash their brushes. Oh, 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 I need a rest. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, I'm supposed to run without stopping, but I'm really tired. And oh, nobody's looking. Wait! Stop! Oh, what's the matter, bananas? You can't sit there. We've only oh. just painted that oh. bench. And the paint's oh. still wet. Well, you should have a sign that says wet paint. Um, we've got one of those, haven't we, B2? Here it is, B1. Oh. Oh. Now, everyone will know not to touch it. <laughs> Come on, Lulu. Come on. <laughs> but they hadn't been gone very long when Amy came past. Oh, I need a rest. Oh, oh. oh. Mm. wet paint. Oh, bother. But Amy couldn't help wondering if the bench was really wet. Maybe no one will notice. Oh. But the next person to come along was Morgan, and he was tired too. Oh, 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 I need a rest. Oh, but, but Lily said we had to run without stopping. But I'm very, very tired. Oh, wet paint, paint, wet paint, oh, bother. And Morgan couldn't resist the wet paint either. and help paint the bench again. Oh, sure. Beats jogging. Sure does. <laughs> I wish people would think before they did silly things, B1. It would make life a lot easier, B2. <sighs> <sighs> oh, dear. Oh, well, Amy and Morgan were going to paint the bench again anyway. But I wonder who washed the banana's pajamas. Hmm, these are pretty interesting. I'm telling you, I love these originals. They are just look, nifty. Look, look, what? Look. Aw, oh, man, I am telling you, those guys are just, they're worse than they are on their TV okay, show. Okay, look, they're goofing around, they're laughing about something, I have no idea what they're up to. We haven't had a chance to talk to them all day. You know what? They're just, they're the trickiest bunch of fruit I have ever met in my entire life. <laughs> they're nuts. Much trickier than the tangerines and trousers, that's mm, for oh, darn man, sure. Oh, man, they're goofier than the honey doing look, hats. laughing, dancing, all right, whatever. I think we got to go find out what's happening, Joe. Well, listen, I want to get to the bottom of what these guys are up to. In the meantime, maybe everyone likes to enjoy maybe an episode of Magic School Bus. I think it's a good idea. Take a look, everybody. Magic school bus. Taking a look at Habitat. Keep your kids banana jam continues. Surrounded by bananas on the Bananas and Pajamas party. But we can't forget these. It is birthday time. Happy birthday going out to Allison, who's eight. Love Mommy, Daddy, and Jillian. Happy birthday to Spencer, five years old. That is from Mommy, Daddy, Ray Lynn, and Colton. Gage is five, and that is love from Mommy, Daddy, Blake, and Biff. Amy, six years old. That's from Mommy, Daddy, and Katie. Amanda is six, and that is love from Mark, Kayla, and Mary Lee. Jessica's five years old. That's from Mom, Dad, and Michael. Timothy, nine years old. That's love from Mom, Daddy, and Tina. Matthew, six years old, my friend. That's from Mom, Dad, and Mike. Dana is five, and that is love from Mommy, Daddy, and Taylor. Stacy's three years old. That is from Eric, Mom, and Dad. All right, happy birthday going out to Mom. Love Amy, Andrea, Ashley, and Dad. Hey, Jamie, five years old, and Jamie's living in Ridgeville, Ontario. Heather is eight today. Love Mom, Dad, Justin, and Caitlin. We got this one, Matthew, four years old. That is from Mom, Dad, Michael, and Megan. Daniel is seven. Oops. Yeah, Mark is three and Natalie's two. Love Dad, Mom, Eric, and Christine. Big family.
family. Check this one out. Jonas, three years old. That's from Julia, uh, Mommy, Thorfinn, and Daddy. Shannon is two, and that is love from Marissa, Katerina, and Juliana. Got a big, long one here. This is for Joanne. That is from Laura, Leanne, Sherry, John, Mom, Dad, and Jasper. All right. Bradley is five, and that is love from Mom, Dad, Jennifer, and Cameron. Raymond, three years old. That is from Mommy, Daddy, RJ, and Sylvester the Cat. Cody is six, and that is love from Mom, Dad, and Jesse. Woo! Stanton, five years old today. That is from Mommy, Daddy, Brandon, and Bear. Vanessa is four, love Mommy, Daddy, and Joseph. Ben, five years old. That's from Mom, Dad, and JJ. Taryn is 11, love Mom, Dad, and Mon, Doug, and Jen. And Whoa, check wait, this. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, you got more? Wait, there. That looks better. Well, there you go. Now you got the goods. And this one is for Dad and for Catherine, who's turning 12 years old. That is from Michael, Mom, and Trixie. There's another card for them. Happy birthday and happy birthday to everybody celebrating birthdays today on this the Bananas and Pajamas Party Day. Now, I'm excited because it's time to get the clipboards from the judges and start tallying the votes, Joe. Oh, man, this is the part I've been waiting for, actually having to tally. I'm telling you, this could be downright nuts. So, everybody, here are all of our judges, and if you're at home, give them a big hand. Alfredo, hey. Kyle, Nancy, Nancy and Debbie. And Debbie. Thank you very much. You want to wave to the camera? Man, Hi. I am telling you, it is a job I would not want, and, uh... They've done a really good job. So, we're going to take your clipboard. Please, and thank you. Almost thank you. as magical as the magic clipboard. And uh, you guys can see. Now, what we're going to do is that we are going to be, while you guys are watching Polka Dot Door, we are going to start counting up the votes mm -hmm. and figuring out who exactly are the winners in our 13 categories. Would everyone agree that it was pretty tough? Yep. Very tough. Very tough job. Very All right. Really hard. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's a job I... I just wouldn't want it. It's just, it sends chills thinking about having to vote on all of these. So, all right, so we have 5, 10, 12, 13 categories. We're doing the grand prize and, of course, a draw from all the drawings we received. So come back after Polka Dot Door. And thanks again, judges. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you guys showed a whole lot of imagination in making these bananas. Fitting that it's Imagination Day. The on the polka dot door. Okay, now listen, we've traded in our judges' clipboards for the magic clipboard because it's time for us to start finding out the winners of the big bananas and pajamas contest. Now, as far as our biggest category, the ones that were up here, our third place winner is from Rochelle. She lives in Thorn Hill, and Rochelle's is right here. Our second place banana pajama is right over here, and that is Jessica and Lauren, who live in London. Our first place winner, Peter Johnson. He lives in Kingston. He is the first place in the biggest right there. Take a look at him. Okay, our stuff category. Our third place one is Anne, who lives in Hamilton, and those are hers right there. Our second place one is Lindsay, who lives in Sterling. And our number one stuffed pajama is Emily's, who lives in Ottawa. Take a look at this one, guys. Pretty nifty stuff. Good job, Emily. All right. Taking a look at the felt fabric and foams. Our third place one is Liz, who lives in Hamilton. Good job, Liz. Our second place one is Julie. She lives in Etobicoke. Nice one. And our number one felt fabric and foam pajama belongs to Melissa from Etobicoke. Melissa McDougal. Oh, I'm telling you, this is so exciting. Okay, molding materials. Let's check them out, alright? They're standing up. Our third place one belongs to Jamie who lives in Scarborough. Take a look at those little guys. Then we've got our Carly from Aurora made the second one. Look at those. Maybe I can hold those ones up for you too. No, oh, oh, I dropped one. Oh, I'm sorry. But take a look at that guy. They kind of look the same. Our number one bananas and pajamas in molding is Roger in Peterborough. Okay, I'm gonna hurry up and give you guys these ones. The puppets. Our third place puppet is right there. Check that one out. That one belongs to Patrick who lives in Sudbury. The second place bananas it belongs to Carolyn from Ottawa. And our first place puppet belongs to Ian. Ian Renberg in Kingston. I am telling you guys, this has just been exciting like crazy. So, those are the winners in the biggest stuff, felt fabric and foam, molding material, and puppet categories. Now, when we come back and everything, we are going to find out some of the other winners during the Bananas and Pajamas party from the other categories. Man, you know, I really wish I'd seen the Bananas and Pajamas because I'm curious to know where they are. Right now, the Bananas are on Beach Patrol. <laughs> Bananas in pajamas are coming down the stairs. Bananas in pajamas are coming down in pairs. Bananas in pajamas are chasing teddy bears. Cause I do say they all try to catch them on the way.
One day, the bananas in pyjamas were cleaning the beach. It's a very hot day today, B1. Oh, very, very hot, oh. B2. We'll have to make sure that everyone who comes down to the beach today is wearing a sun hat. Quite right, B2. Oh. We don't want anyone getting sunburnt. Mm. Hi, bananas. Oh, uh, just a minute, Lulu. Where's your sun hat? Oh. <gasps> I must have dropped it. Mm. Oh. And I found it. Oh. You'll have to put it on your head, Lulu. We don't want you getting sunburned. Thank you, bananas. Bye. Bye, Lulu. <sighs> Morning, bananas. Uh, just a minute, Amy. Where's your sun hat? Oh, it's in my big bag, I think. Oh, oh no, my big bag. Oh, Our third place winner here is from Sarah Claxton of 
place. Take a look at the shoelaces. This is from Marlon Magone of Toronto. Excellent. Now, one more category before we go to Top TV. It is the helping hand category. In third place here, we have from Chelsea Conway of Cambridge, B1 and B2. Then, in second place, using some spools from Montana Johnson of Berry. And the first place in the helping hand category, look at B1 and B2. That is from Maxwell and Madison Fratolin in Thunder Bay. Looking good. We will come back, finish up with three more categories, and show you some unique, one-of-a-kind, original bananas who also win prizes. But we're going to keep going now in the TVO Kids, usually the polka hour. Well, why not? It's still the polka hour on the Bananas and Pajamas Party. The Tots are having fun with music. Take a look. Now check out these guys here in the bottom. These are the recycle category. Now in third place, we have this one from Emma and Meg. These are rubber gloves and they were made in Brampton. They get a video. Now in second place, this is David. He lives in Port Hope, Ontario. Four and a half years old and he's getting himself, ooh, a plush toy. And the winners in the recycled bananas, that's Carolina. She lives in Brampton. She's getting herself a singing banana. Good stuff. Okay, let's go up here to the paper mache category. Now in third place, we've got this one made by Joe Cameron, he lives in ooh, Oakville. Good stuff. In second place is Ashley. She lives in Oxford Mills. Good job. And our winner of the paper mache bananas is Michael Shantz. He lives in Gloucester, Ontario. Very, very good stuff. Now, let's go to the wall for the paper and beyond category. Always intense, always fun. In third place, we have these bananas. They were made by, or this banana, made by Eric. He lives in Brampton. He's getting himself a video another video winner check out these guys inside of the shoe box that's really cool that was made by graham in whitby and the winner is sitting right on top that was made by jeffrey howard from big bay point good stuff now if you want to find out about the ob the original bananas patty's got the goods for you right around the corner patty what you got we sure have a lot of them joe follow these bananas all the way down here you will find some one and only originals that we decided should all get a little something this is a mobile sent in by Kyle and Marinia Doyle of Cambridge. It included the bears, and they're also the people who made the earrings I've been wearing all day. Come up here on top, we have from Zara Hirji of Toronto. Uh, this is made out of a glove. Very well done. Next to that, the marshmallow banana from Dobbington, and this is by Alicia Sachs. And boy, I've got lots more to show, so hopefully we can have a bit more time here. Behind here, we have a windsock. This is from Burlington, made by Angela Ritchie. Next to that, in front, we have out of flower pots by Willie Armstrong of Woodstock. Behind, we have a sun catcher. This is from Alora, and her name is Jody Key. Very well done. In front of that, our one and only rock. This is by Brian Schooley of Burford. Next to that, our one and only candle from Jennifer Spalson of Scarborough. Behind that, our one and only diaper. This is from Brooke and Jeffrey Fry of Waterloo. Right beside that, a giant Lego banana that we received, and a little one, and it has won. And in front of that one, our o the only banana made with crayons. Very cool. And that's from Shane Wright of Mississauga. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention the Lego was from Jamie McMillan of Dryden. Very cool stuff. We will come back and make a giant draw from all the drawings. So for now, let's join Polka Dot Shorts about to begin. Pies made me hungry. Yeah, I know. Okay, as you can see in front of us, we have a box full of pictures because we didn't ask for drawings, but we received over 200, so we thought we'd make a draw from the drawing. That's right, and the drawing is for this really cool looking banana in pajamas puzzle. Check that out. Patty, you want to do the honors? Sure. Actually, we're picking three. We have three drawings winners, so let's, let's do see. It. Number one, our drawing winner is from, let's see, Chad, Chad Usher of Cordis, Ontario. Super. All right, that's one. You want to pick another? Yep. Here? All right, let's see if we got... Oops, I just chucked that one out. Let's see. Oh, that's a good-looking Bananas and Pajamas drawing. That one was made by Erie, who lives in Blenheim, Ontario. Cool. Okay, last one. I'm going to go right over here. And this is from Kyan and Orion and what? Renee Tamming of Sarnia. Well, congratulations. Excellent that is really great. That is just super. That so, is good to see and stuff. That's wow. three... They're going to... Ooh, knock on the door. Can you get that? Yeah, let me just see what's going on here. Oh, uh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh boy. Hey! Munchy honey cakes and green jelly. Oh man, this is so. Alright, cool. and Joe, look it. I found a note. It was stuck up here, and it's 
from B1 and B2. Hee hee, we fooled you. We've been here all day. It's green jelly and munchy honey cakes in the crawl space time. And I guess it's green jelly instead of yellow because we're extra special. We are. That is really great. Thanks, guys. <laughs>
gentlemen, our grand prize winner. We are going to open this up. This grand prize winner is from Barrie, Ontario. The name, Jeffrey Howard from Barrie, Ontario. This a good-looking banana from the paper and beyond category. And Jeffrey wins. Take a look down. Look Bananas that. are holding it. It is the tricycle. I'm telling you, apparently he's four and a half years yes. old. He's going to get such a big kick out of that and stuff. We got some spinning wheels on that thing. It's colorful. It is bananas and pajamas galore. I'm loving it. It's, it's amazing. And you know what? I think uh, the bananas have one thing to say before they take off out of here. Yeah, let's yeah. let's well, hear what they have to say. Time to go, me too. Time to go. Yeah, well, well, well. Thanks for coming, guys. <laughs> it's been great having the bananas and pajamas in here. It is super duper. I'm just loving it. This is excellent. Now we're into the power hour, Joe, so... Presentation of the TVO Kids Power Hour is brought to you in part by...